Hi fellow beer drinkers, I'm reviewing Toppling Goliath's Fire Skulls and Money. I think this is the first canning they did of this beer, cause like a month before it showed up in the big bomber bottles, and they also yeah, are switching Kingsu to the cans also, um, but I found a little bit of a variation. I actually didn't get a bomber of this, but I think I got that, at least that same batch or a similar batch on tap like a month ago I had this one and I really liked it on tap it was ended up not being quite as hazy as when I sampled this this one this batch is hazier but less fruity um, so I've let this sit for a little while this is now exactly six weeks old I believe the best by date is still very far away um, so I was hoping that maybe in those six weeks some of the bitterness would reside maybe some of the haze would fall out because it was like really bitter and chalky and not as fruity as when I had it on tap. But you know, since they switched to cans and they distributed them all over the place, maybe this is a much bigger batch and they tweaked some things and it ended up not turning out perfectly. Um, but I really, really liked when I had it on tap that one time. So I'm gonna keep buying it probably. But this one is a pretty highly rated IPA of theirs and it has kind of the holy qua nitty not Trinity, of hops. They use a Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy, and Nelson Sauvine. And those are just kind of the, the hottest hops, and they have been the hottest hops for the past five years or something, basically. And this is 7.2% alcohol. And I don't really know about exactly what uh, malts they use, but it's definitely a simple malt bill. Let's jump right in. It is still very hazy. That is for sure. But I only poured the first half, and it's, yeah, super duper pale, like one of the palest, taziest beers I've seen. Similar looking to King Su. Ooh, I'm getting some really nice aroma now, though. And that head's dying down pretty quickly. King Su even had a better head than that. And you can see it's pretty bubbly. Everything but the head looks good about it. It's not murky, it's not getting any darkening some of these super hazy IPAs there can be you know signs of oxidation showing up even you know at only a month this one's you know six weeks and there's no sign of a darkening in there at least to my eyes might look a little different on camera but I think maybe the aroma has improved yeah I like that it's got a lot of tropical and stone fruits in there it's kind of a cooling, very slight eucalyptus note from the, the Southern Hemisphere hops. Lots of pineapple and peach, but just barely ripe. It doesn't smell like it's going to be really sweet, juicy. I mean, it's going to be juicy, but like very bitter still. An orange, a touch of a creamsicle-y thing, but their yeast is pretty clean. It doesn't bring out too much of, you know, English estery candy candy-like things. Mm, yeah, I kind of wish maybe I'd save more cans of this because this is smelling really nice. Mm. Still got that chalky bitter bite. Yeah, it gets way more bitter in the mouthfeel. Whew. It gets a little bit more herbaceous. It's not quite dank. I wouldn't say it doesn't have any of those sweaty marijuana smells. It's not overwhelmingly chalky on the palate. Not too much throat burn by only two sips. Oh yeah, now it's finishing it with a sulfury quality. Yeah. With this batch, they just, I don't know, tweak something to make the haze stronger, and it seems like it's brought out what I think might be thiols, these things where if you over dry hop or certain things like that, you get a sulfury note, and there's just too much haze in there. Um, that it is creating that chalky flavor. So the combination of the sulfury thiols with all the, the you know, proteins and polyphenols in there is just making it too tasting like gypsum. Yeah, and I'm sure they do use some gypsum water treatment. So these things are just making it distract from the fruitiness and making it really chalky, minerally, sulfury, all that stuff that's good in a small amount in these, in these hazy IPAs, um, but it's overwhelming my palate actually. 
a pretty good full mouth feel. And finishes, you know, of course, very dry, even though it does have a pretty thick, juicy feel to it. It's not, it's not probably the chalkiest one I've had, but this is pretty darn bitter. It's like your tongue, you can just feel every single taste bud on there after taking a sip of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of demolishing a lot of the fruitiness. It's just like really, it's like biting into an unripe fruit and along with some chalk and some herbs. Yeah, the batch I had on tap was a lot better. Um, I'm sure it's all the same ingredients, but I bet they just tweak some things. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe kegs kind of can be a little different because that's a different kind of packaging. But as I told you, this has been sitting in my fridge for weeks and I haven't touched it, hoping that something would happen, that bitterness would subside or some of the haze would fall out of solution. But clearly they know what they're doing and this was not a chunky batch at all. I have had chunky batches from them, but it just seems like overall, over, overall, Top and Goliath is going through some growing pains right now. Um, some, yeah, some batches from them I'm really liking, and then with, like this one is just not perfect. A lot of people are just gonna be like, whoa, it's so hazy, it's got such an explosive hoppy flavor, they're gonna like it a lot, but I want some fruit in there. <laughs> yeah, I would give this, you know, a four maybe. Um, it would be hard to drink this whole whole thing by myself. I'm, I'm probably going to blend it with some other IPA, and I think that might actually end up working out really well. But it's it's just kind of sad knowing that how well the like the latest batch of this was, how good it was, how well it was done, um, and that this one is just a little bit over the top here. Um, probably recommend maybe the next batch. Maybe if you see this in a couple months after this video, try it again or try it for the first time and it might be good because it's it's got everything it's just it's just too chalky basically it's really just too much gunk in there but i'm still gonna be i'm still gonna drink toppling goliath because it seems like every, every not every other batch maybe two-thirds of all the batches of their beers i'm like yep this is damn good goodbye